Hello and welcome back. As we understood uh, the high level view of how the decision tree makes the splits and uh, how it actually makes the prediction, let us jump in and understand in depth of how algorithm actually chooses the best features to split on. So algorithm divides the predictor space. Predictor space is nothing but x1, x2 and so on, xn or xp, right? The, the rows divides the rows into different regions. If you look at this, the dots are nothing but the data points there. If you have n number of features, each data point will have n number of values there. It's a vector, right? So it divides uh, the uh, predictor space into regions, non-overlapping regions, right? One data point will not fall into two regions. One data point always falls into one region. That's how it actually splits. For every observation falling into one region RJ, the algorithm makes the same prediction. Right? We have seen that. The mean of all, you know, the salary is going to the prediction for all these records. The mean of the salaries of all these records is going to the prediction. Mean of the salaries of all these records is going to be the prediction of this region. The records belonging to that region, right? So the algorithm makes the same prediction which is similar, which is simply the mean of the response variable or the target variable in the region. So we have seen that, right? R1, R2, R3. For R1, the prediction is going to be, all the records falling in R1, the prediction is going to be 225.83. All the records falling into R2, the prediction is going to be 465.92. For all the records falling, falling in R3, the prediction is going to be 949.17. So let us try to understand how exactly it knows that uh, the years less than 4.5 is the best way to split the data. Right? This, is the, this was the problem even in classification also we actually looked at. First problem is how did it know that years is the best feature to split on and how did it know the 4.5 is the best place to split the years also, the total data set also. Okay. So it actually, there is a concept called as cut point. This 4.5 is a cut point at which it is actually trying to split the data into two parts. You have n number of features x1, x2 and so on xn and there are maybe you know 1000 records. Suppose that there are n number of features and 1000 records. You splitted data at 4.5 years of experience, years you know less than 4.5. Suppose that 600 records fall into less than 4.5, 400 fall into greater than uh, or equal to 4.5, right? The data actually splitted exactly into two parts like that, right? This part and this part, right? So how did you know that 4.5 is the best? To know that the goal of the algorithm is to split the data into J number of regions where the RSS is minimal. What is RSS? Residual sum of squares. So when you split the data, you can make predictions, right? Suppose that you split it data by years and 600 records fall, fell, in, fell into one, one branch and uh, 400 uh, records fell into another branch. You can make predictions of all those branch, the records falling into this branch and this branch. The target variables mean is the prediction, right? So we made the prediction and you can actually calculate this. Yi is the less than 4.5 records, the 600 records by i minus the mean of those 600 record salaries plus yi of the 400 records and the mean of the 400 records salaries. And you calculate that, that gives you the residual sum of squares. So, you know, at 4.5 you did, again at 5.5 you'll do it, 6.5, 7.5, cut points we call them as. It starts with the minimum value and does it till maximum value. So it calculates RSS for different cut points. So on the years column, it will take all possible values for the cut point, right? It actually does one at one, at 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, like that it chooses cut points and calculates RSS. Wherever the minimal RSS comes, it will take that and keeps it aside on years. Right, the second column in this data set is um, uh, hits right and hits also it takes different cut points and calculates RSS again so wherever it gets the best uh, you know RSS it keeps that aside and then compares the years cut point best years cut point and uh, the best uh, hits cut point 
looks at the RSS, whichever is less, it chooses that as the best feature and that as the cut, best cut point. So that's how it known. It is kind of trial and error, right? It takes different values for years and does this condition and uh, tries to make predictions for the data and then calculates the RSS for different regions. And again, for the second column, it does that. For third column, it does that. Like that, n number of columns, it, it will do it. And best cut point and bet, best feature is the one which gives the less number of residual sum of squares. That's how it chooses. Okay, that theory is written here. And before going to this theory, right, let us try to see the algorithm takes, a, you know, the approach, the top down greedy approach. When I say recursive binary tree, we call it as, okay, this algorithm is called as recursive binary split, sorry, recursive binary split. So it, it takes the top down approach and it's a greedy approach. We say it is a greedy approach because it makes the split based on the current situation. When it is trying to make the split, how the data got splitted and how the predictions are based on that only it is it is going to make the split it is not going to look at the further steps and do it so that's where we call it as greedy algorithm we you know the approach is called as uh, top down because it begins at the top of the tree and you know successively splits the data uh, and predicts and you know does whatever right so recursive binary tree let me read through this and uh, you know whatever theory i explain the goal is to find the regions R1, R2 and so on RJ that minimizes the RSS given by this formula. The goal is to split the data like this while keeping the RSS minimal, the error minimal, total error minimal. Okay. So we consider all predictors x1, x2 and so on xp and all possible values of cut points S, right? As I said. All possible cut points of S means for years there may be 10 cut points 1, 1.5, 1.2, right? For each predictor. Again, for the hits, we will have different cut points. For other columns also, we will have different cut points. And then choose the predictor and the cut point such that the resulting tree has the lowest RSS. Okay, R1, J, S x given x is less, xj less than the cut point and r2 yes, j comma s where you know sj greater than it is good x and we calculate the rss like this okay we repeat this process looking for the best cut points uh, which give less rss that's how we actually split the data or the you know decision tree regressor makes the split it is called as recursive binary split algorithm so we have understood how the you know decision tree regressor works and how the algorithm works recursive binary split works in the next session we will build a model using decision tree regressor from scikit thank you